Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I've collaborated with an amazing YouTuber called Alicia from Mind Over Munch and if you're not already subscribed to her I'll leave all of her details down below. She does videos on healthy recipes, nutrition tips and fitness tips and even though she's based in America we've decided to collaborate and challenge each other to create two healthy and more importantly tasty recipes based around fruit. So stay tuned to see what my two recipes are, then head over to Alicia's channel, Mind Over Munch, to see what hers are too. Summer is perfect for salads and adding fruit just gives it a natural healthy twist. Both of the recipes that I'm about to talk through today are perfect for either lunch to take to work with you or perfect for a summer's evening barbecue. So recipe number one for me is my watermelon and feta salad. So for this recipe, you'll need a quarter of a large watermelon. You'll need around 180 to 200 grams of feta cheese. I've gone for the light version. You'll need one red onion. Optional is a few spinach leaves, as well as some fresh basil leaves. So to start, I'm just going to chop up my melon into chunks. So now that my watermelon's all chopped up, I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients. So I've just got half a red onion, and when you're making salads, more colours the better. I'm then going to add my feta cheese. Now I cheated and my feta cheese was actually already pre-cubed. I just think um, from a price point of view it doesn't make any difference, but it just makes it so much easier. And this is going to provide our protein for the salad. I'm just going to give this a bit of a mix before adding in some greenery. I'm just going to add a few spinach leaves which are going to act as our greenery and mix everything in. So once your spinach leaves are in and they are optional, you just want to take some basil, pull off a few of the leaves, give them a chop and add them to the salad for extra flavour. Now you could have this salad without a dressing but I'm just going to make a healthy vinaigrette. So I'm just going to use one of these jars that I think I picked up from a craft shop. And to make a vinaigrette, all you need to do is add three parts olive oil and one part vinegar. So in this case, I'm just going to add three tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar along with some black pepper and put it into the jar and give it a mix. Any salad dressing that you don't use, you can just pop in the fridge. And here is your healthy feta cheese with watermelon salad. So now that I've shown you how to make my watermelon and feta tea salad, and this salad could serve up to four people, say at a barbecue on the side, I'm now going to show you my prawn and avocado salad. So to make this salad, you'll need four spring onions, 200 grams of king prawns, half a cucumber, two salad tomatoes, a ripe avocado, a ripe mango, and then some chili flakes, and for the dressing, we're using lemon juice, balsamic vinegar this time, and some olive oil. So to start you want to chop up your cucumber or you could spiralise it and if you've never heard of spiralising before it's just ways of making vegetables more attractive to eat. My one I just got from eBay which I'll link below but you can get much better ones which I'll also link below. For this device you just put the cucumber in, press it into place and then give it a turn and you get spiralised cucumber. So once you've chopped up or spiralised your cucumber, you then just want to add your avocado, which I've just sliced in half and then sliced in half again. Then if it's ripe, all you need to do is scoop off the outer shell, the skin, and then chop it into pieces. So the avocado adds some really healthy fats and also a lovely texture as well. I'm just going to add some chopped mango and in hindsight I really wish that I bought um, some pre-chopped mango so learn from my mistake and then I've just chopped up the salad tomatoes, the spring onions and the prawns and I'm just going to add it to the bowl and then you just want to mix everything together. So for a dressing so I'm just going to add some chilli flakes and you can leave these out if you don't like spicy things and I'm just going to add the vinaigrette that I spoke about before. So just three parts of the olive oil to one part of the balsamic vinegar, some lemon juice as well, and then some black pepper if you fancy it, and then just give it a mix in your jar. So there you have it, your prawn and mango salad. Both of these salad recipes taste amazing, and I can't wait to see Alicia's, so I'll link hers down below as well as at the end of this video. If you do make any of these recipes, don't forget to tag us both, so Mind Over Munch or Nick's Nutrition on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, and do leave me a comment down below letting me know which is your favourite recipe. So thank you very much for watching, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.